All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So today I'm going to be taking you through my minor league baseball bat collection. Now, over the past two seasons or so, I've been collecting broken bats for minor league teams, the Somerset Patriots and the Long Island Ducks. Now, both of these teams are part of the Atlantic League of Professional Baseball, and if you guys are watching this within the first couple hours, it's going live on YouTube, I'm actually going to be at a Long Island Ducks game as you're viewing this video, which is really cool. It'll be my first time ever at the stadium. My friend Emil actually invited me out. He is the clubhouse manager of the Ducks, and has actually sent me three of these bats, and he's personally given them to me so I can add them to my collection, which is really cool and very nice of him. I did do a video that Emil was in back in August of 2018, last year. If you guys want to check out that video, use the link down below in the description box and it'll take you right there. So without further ado, let's take you through my five minor league baseball broken bats. The first bat I ever received in my collection was from the Somerset Patriots and it belonged to Thomas Neal. Now, as you can see right here on the barrel of the bat, it is signed by Sparky Lyle, who is a 1977 AL Cy Young Award winner with the New York Yankees, which is really cool. He's actually um, the owner, not the owner, but the uh, manager emeritus of the Somerset Patriots. So he's always there. You can always get autographs with him, take pictures with him. Really cool. This guy was amazing back with the Yankees, uh, and especially in 1977 when he won the Cy Young Award. So really cool to talk to him and be able to spend time with him, just kind of ask him about what it was like playing for Major League Baseball teams and stuff. I once asked him what it was like to catch or to pitch to Thurman Munson, because Thurman Munson was amazing. He's actually one of my favorite all-time players. And he said the guy was a wall back there. You know, he would pretty much catch everything, and he knew that he had your back if you were on the mound. So I thought that was just really cool. So that's signed by him. It's a Louisville Slugger. Again, let me show you the barrel here. Thomas Neal. I'm going to take you to clips of just the bat itself uh, after I get done talking about each bat. There was some pine tar here, and you can see that's the big crap right there. Now, I only have one bat actually in uh, two different pieces, and we'll get to that actually right now. So my next bat is the last bat I have from the Somerset Patriots, and it's actually from one of my favorite players on this team, um, or at least throughout the years. Now he's actually with the York Revolution, which is another Atlantic League of professional baseball team. Uh, he's no longer with the Patriots. I miss him a lot. The guy was amazing. I actually met up with him the other day at a Patriots game. But Justin Trapp. Now really quick, I do have these like protective tubes uh, for the next four bats, or the next three bats, and including this one, that is four. And uh, I just keep them nice and safe this way, and they're clean. This is the bat that's in two different pieces. If you can see, it's actually separated right there. It was broken up really nicely, and these are all game-used bats, uh, not just like that and cracked and stuff. So really nice crack right down the side. He signed it to Nick Justin Trap number one, and then Trap number one he wrote uh, just in regular font as well. And uh, this is a really cool bat. I personally think this is one of my favorites just because he was one of my favorite players. And uh, it wasn't technically like just his bat. It belonged to the Somerset Patriots organization. But if you look at the KR3 here, once he finally started using this bat, he put his initials and number one on the R, which is really cool. And again, this is the only piece, or the only bat I have in different pieces. So again, I'll take you through uh, just a shot of this bat right now. So those are my only two Somerset Patriots bats, but these the next three are again from my friend Emil from the Long Island Ducks. He gave me all three of these bats that you guys are about to see, and all three of them belong to former Major League Baseball players. Now this first one is the name that I recognized right off the bat. Get it? Um, Matt Den Decker played with the Long Island Ducks, and actually I believe the Ducks have like the most ever um, former Major League Baseball players, or at least it just seems that way. They've also had a couple of catchers, uh, from major leagues as well, Blue Jays especially. Um, Diner Navarro, I do believe, was on that team last year with the Ducks. And this is a really nice bat, Matt Dendecker. Again, it is going to be in the tube here, but you can see right there on the barrel of the bat, it is a maple professional bat from Matt Dendecker. Rawlings, there's a bunch of pine tar right here, and uh, the grip of the bat, or whatever you want to call this here, like the handle, has a lot of former tar on it as well. 
and it's actually inscribed. You can't see this, but on the top of the bat, it's 4318 and DD. So Den Decker and then the date that uh, I guess it was made and that he's started using it. So really cool. That's bat number three. And I'll take you through the shot of just that bat right now as well. This next bat is really cool. It is a Marucci wooden bat handcrafted for Raymond Fuentes. Again, he was a former Major League Baseball player, and it is the only bat I have that has a red barrel, which makes it super unique and super crazy. All these bats are unique, but this is also one of my favorites. I think all five of them are my favorite, if we're being honest here. There's a nice crack in the bat. Really nice stuff. And I mean, again, I have to owe a huge thank you to my friend Emil. The guy is amazing, and I can't wait to go to the Ducks game later on today. So again, this is my only red-barreled bat, and it's Marucci from Raymond Fuentes. Now, my last bat here is from Daniel Fields, and on the barrel of the bat... It says DF41M34, so Daniel Fields, and I'm assuming like um, like the make or whatever of the bat, but there you go. That is the full length of the bat in the tube. You can see the uh, handle is uh, pretty worn out and has like pine chart and stuff on it, or traces of pine chart, and the crack is right there in the bat. So really exciting, this one's really cool. It's actually gonna finish out my collection. Um, all three of these that you just saw were from the Long Island Ducks, as I mentioned, and I really enjoy this collection. I think it's just really cool for me to go ahead and add on to all my broken bats, so I enjoyed showing you guys this, and now we're going to cut to the Daniel Fields broken bat clip by itself. Alrighty guys, that is going to end my broken bat collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video over the next couple months and years, and even the rest of the 2019 season. I hope to collect a couple more bats. Uh, this is just really cool for me. You're literally taking home a piece of the game. One of my most prized possessions are these broken bats when it comes to baseball memorabilia. I just think this is also uh, a fun collection to have as well, just because I'm showcasing things that belong to former major leaguers and just really good baseball players. And uh, yeah, I enjoy this a lot. So if you guys want to see more collection videos that I have based on memorabilia of, go ahead, like to the beginning of the video and comment down below. That is going to end it. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like down below, comment and subscribe. We are on the road to 1,000 subs by the end of 2019. So if that sub button is red, please do me a favor and hit that button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace.